NASA has just unveiled a fighter jet that breaks every rule in the book. An F-15X aircraft that's not only faster and more powerful than any fighter we've seen, but challenges the very laws of physics. NASA's latest collaboration with the U.S. Air Force has led to a groundbreaking innovation. An F-15X with capabilities so advanced, it's left military experts and engineers in awe. This isn't just a minor upgrade to a classic fighter, it's an entirely new beast. Packed with experimental tech from NASA's research labs, this jet boasts unmatched speed, agility, and stealth capabilities that seem to defy the physics governing flight as we know it. And here's the kicker, it's all being kept under tight wraps. With this new F-15X, the game has changed. We're entering a new era where dogfights might be determined not by skill or strategy, but by the sheer mind-bending capabilities of a machine that shouldn't even be possible. NASA's F-15X isn't just a fighter jet, it's a glimpse into the future of warfare. If this aircraft can truly defy the laws of physics, what's next? The fighter jet breaking, all the rules. The arrival of the F-15X Eagle Siku has flipped the script on how the U.S. Air Force handles its fighter fleet. Imagine this. For the first time in history, the Air National Guard is receiving new fighters before the active duty forces. Sounds like a slap in the face to tradition, right? But it's happening. In June, the first operational F-15EX touched down in Portland, Oregon, followed by another jet soon after. Declared operational by General Kenneth Wilsbach of Air Combat Command, this move has rattled expectations and sparked intense debate. Boeing's delivery of the first eight F-15X units is just the start. Six jets were sent to Eglin Air Force Base, Florida for testing, while the Air National Guard received two of these cutting-edge fighters. By 2025, the production line will shift into overdrive, with more aircraft rolling out once Boeing wraps up its F-15QA production for Qatar. If Congress approves, the Air Force will retire another 77 aging F-15C-D jets, clearing the way for the Eagle II. Already, the Air Force is inching toward full-rate production deals for the fifth and sixth lots of the F-15X, marking a massive shift in strategy. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Stealth. The F-15X isn't designed to be a stealth fighter, and many critics love pointing that out. However, this beast is equipped with the ALQ-250 Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System, a state-of-the-art electronic warfare system that more than makes up for its lack of stealth. After extensive testing, the system is now fully operational, and the first modified f 15 X is already stationed at Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada. So, is the lack of stealth really a disadvantage? Not when you have systems that make it virtually untouchable in combat. Congress initially planned for 144 F-15X units, but budget cuts in 2025 reduced that number to 98. Yet lawmakers aren't letting go so easily. The House Armed Services Committee has recommended adding 24 more jets, bringing the total back up to 122. And while the final number is still being debated, the fact remains, the Eagle II is here to stay. In a world of sleek, stealthy jets, this rugged, heavily armed fighter is rewriting the rules of air superiority. With enhancements like an ASO radar, advanced infrared sensors, and improved cockpit controls, the F-15EX isn't just a rehash of its predecessors. This model borrows heavily from the F-15QA, including a redesigned structure that boasts a 20 hour service life. It also features Boeing's Amber system, which allows it to carry an astonishing 22 air-to-air -air missiles, making it one of the most heavily armed fighters in the world. And here's the kicker. While the F-15EX doesn't have the sleek stealth profile of the F-22 or F-35, it was built to complement them. Serving as the ultimate wingman, this aircraft excels in roles like homeland defense, enforcing no-fly zones, and launching standoff weapons to aid its stealthier counterparts. In 2020, 
the US made a bold move by ordering eight F-15 EX units for $1.20 billion, a significant investment in the future of air combat. The Eagle II is also brimming with cutting-edge technology, with its General Electric F, 110 GE 129 engines, advanced avionics, and a digital fly-by-wire control system, this fighter is a powerhouse of versatility. Even though it lacks the common missile warning system found in other models, its aerodynamic profile and enhanced systems more than compensate. Whether for air superiority or ground attack, the F-15X is built to dominate, and it's just getting started. Looking ahead, the 2024 budget proposal includes funds for 24 more F-15X jets, pushing the fleet to 104 units. The Eagle Saku may not fit neatly into the mold of fifth-generation fighters, but it was never meant to. Instead, it stands as a testament to the enduring value of a well-designed, heavily armed fighter jet that can adapt to the demands of modern warfare. The Ultimate Eagle II Upgrade One of the F-15X's most controversial features? Its massive payload capacity. We're talking about a jet that can carry 12 air-to-air -air missiles like the AIM-120 AMRAAM or AIM-9 Sidewinder. And that's just the beginning. There's even speculation it could eventually carry up to 16 AMRAAMs or four AIM-9S with two AGM-88 Harms for a total air dominance loadout though that hasn't been fully tested or funded yet. Imagine the sheer firepower this beast could unleash in a combat zone. Need precision strikes? It can haul up to 16 GBU-39 small diameter bombs, a 2,000 pounds joint direct attack munition, J-DAM, or large standoff munitions like the AGM-158 JASM or AGM-183 ARRW. Talk about a force multiplier. Despite being heavier than older F-15 models due to a reinforced structure, the F-15X is shockingly nimble. Its digital fly-by-wire control system, paired with the General Electric F-110 GE-129 engine, gives it insane maneuverability and handling. This means the pilot can push the jet to its limits without worrying about angle of attack restrictions or the risk of spinning out of control. The advanced control system also ensures the aircraft remains balanced, even with uneven weight distribution, making it the perfect tool for aggressive, high-stakes missions. The F-15X's first round of upgrades included an ASA radar, infrared search and track, IERST, and the Advanced Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System, EPOSS, pulled from existing F-15 modernization programs. It also inherited the best features of the F-15 QA, like a completely revamped design that extends its service life to an astounding 20,000 hours. Throw in an upgraded cockpit, flight controls, and the amber missile ejector rack system capable of holding 22 air-to-air -air missiles, and you've got one of the most advanced fighter jets in the sky. But here's where the controversy kicks in. The F-15E still isn't as stealthy as the fifth-generation F-22 or F-35. It can't dodge the most advanced air defense systems with the same ease, but don't write it off just yet. The F-15X excels as a force enabler, providing essential support for these stealth fighters. Think homeland and airbase defense, enforcing no-fly zones, and launching standoff weapons from afar while the F-22S and F-35S take point on the front lines. The EX model brings the best of its predecessors while integrating cutting-edge tech. The engine was swapped out for a more powerful General Electric F-110 GE-129, which delivers a max thrust of 29,500 pounds. To enhance its survivability, it's outfitted with the ALQ-239 Digital Electronic Warfare System, replacing the older ALQ-1228 system. This new setup significantly boosts the aircraft's defensive capabilities, making it more adept at handling modern threats. Engineers also took the opportunity to give the F-15X a design overhaul. The wings were completely reworked, increasing the aircraft's service life from 8,000 to a staggering 20,000 hours. And let's not forget the enhanced cockpit. 
initially developed for the F-15 Silent Eagle export version, an innovation that never saw commercial success, but is now a key feature of the F-15 EX. The Ultimate Air Superiority Fighter Earlier versions of the F-15 were forced to disable two outboard wing pylons due to flutter modes, destabilizing the fighter. But with the arrival of the F-15 EX, Boeing has revolutionized the game. A modern digital fly-by-wire control system replaced the outdated hybrid electronic mechanical control system, erasing those instability issues and bringing the fighter into the 21st century. But Boeing didn't stop there. They took a hard look at the digital guts of the F-15X and transformed it completely. The new mission computer, advanced display core processor, and two large aviation displays for both the pilot and the weapon systems officer ensure total control and awareness. This jet is no longer just a fighter, it's a flying command center. And of course, the radar got a massive upgrade too. Enter the Raytheon APG-82V, one AESA radar, which combines the power of the APG-63 antenna with the processing capabilities of the APG-79. This allows for greater tracking, target detection, and radar resolution, making the F-15X lethal in any air combat scenario. To keep all these advanced systems running smoothly, the F-15X was equipped with a cutting-edge cooling system and radio frequency filters. Why? Because overheating in the middle of a dogfight is not an option. And when integrated with the EPA WSS, Eagle Passive Active Warning and Survivability System, this fighter doesn't just fly. It dominates the skies while keeping its pilot safe from electronic threats. And now for the real jaw-dropper the sheer firepower this jet can carry. A standard loadout includes 12 air-to-air -air missiles like the AIM-120 AMRAAM and AIM-9 Sidewinder, along with AGM-88 Harm missiles. But the F-15X can push the envelope even further, carrying 16 AMRAAMs, 4 AIM-9S, and 2 AGM-88ES. Need precision strikes? It can haul up to 16 GBU-39 small diameter bombs, a 2,000 pounds joint direct attack munition, JDAM, two AGM-88 harms, and even two fuel tanks. And for those long-range missions where the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II need backup, the F-15X can bring the big guns, AGM, 158 JASM, and AGM-183 ARW standoff munitions. The Eagle II made its debut at Eglin Air Force Base in March 2021, with six fighters forming a test group for operational flight testing. Pilots were stunned at just how much firepower the F-15EX could carry. In a world where the cutting-edge NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance Program, is on the horizon, some might wonder why the U.S. Air Force is still investing in more Eagle IIs. The answer? The F-15EX is a giant missile truck. Its capacity to carry a ridiculous amount of firepower is exactly why it remains highly sought after. The Future of Air Dominance Across the Atlantic, Europe is scrambling to catch up with the NGAD. The United Kingdom, Italy and Japan have banded together to develop their own sixth-generation fighter jet desperately trying to keep pace with America's next move. Meanwhile, the U.S. Navy is quietly running its own race under the F-AXX program, with the goal of producing a similarly groundbreaking aircraft. Yet the U.S. Air Force is pulling no punches, throwing a jaw-dropping $1.9 billion into NGAD's research and development, as outlined in its fiscal 2020 budget. This is not just a fighter jet. This is a family of air-dominant systems designed to change the future of warfare. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall didn't mince words when discussing NGAD's significance. He revealed that this platform would surpass the legendary Raptor, cementing its place as the crown jewel of American air superiority. 
The Air Force is already planning to acquire a staggering 1,000 next-generation combat aircraft, which include 300 F-35S, each equipped with two drones, and 200 NGAD aircraft, similarly outfitted. The future of air dominance? It's here, and it's about to rewrite the rule book. While companies like Lockheed Martin and Boeing are leading the charge in building the NGAD, let's not forget Northrop Grumman, the backbone behind the F-35, Super Hornet, and EA-18G Growler structures and electronics. But here's where it gets crazy. The NGAD's design is like nothing you've ever seen. From the front, it almost looks alien, streamlined and lacking a clear canopy. The intakes are blended into the fuselage, and from the side, the entire jet resembles a wing, indicating a design that screams high speed and stealth. With leading edge extensions similar to the Super Hornet, this thing can maneuver like a dream in slow speed combat. But don't be fooled, it's built for hypersonic speeds and can launch missiles traveling at Mach 2 or greater. Of course, with such radical designs come risks. Testing new aircraft always comes with dangers, and the NGAD will be no exception. But with the design built for stealth and speed, and the potential for hypersonic weaponry, the NGAD will revolutionize the defense industry. The real wild card? There's even talk of Elon Musk's SpaceX joining the fold, which could open the door to an entirely new class of defense contractors. This aircraft doesn't just rely on stealth, it's designed to reduce its infrared signature, making it almost invisible to enemy sensors. The NGAE's exhaust ports, similar to the YF-23 Black Widow, are designed to cool the jet's exhaust, hiding the engine's thrust and reducing its heat signature. Combine that with the tailless, elongated fuselage, and you have a jet that's practically impossible to detect, especially when flying deep into enemy territory. It's a game-changer for operations in the Pacific, where distances stretch for thousands of miles. But stealth isn't the NG-80's only ace in the hole. This fighter is equipped with AI-powered algorithms that can process massive amounts of data in real time, giving pilots an unprecedented level of situational awareness. From detecting potential threats to helping pilots strategize on the fly, the NGAD will not only be fast, it will be smart. And with the rise of spectral warfare, the ability to evade not just radar but also visual detection will be crucial. Offensively, the NGAD's infrared search and track IERST system will likely operate in stealth mode, allowing it to detect adversaries while keeping its own radar silent. Similar to the F-35's electro-optical targeting system, the NGAD will excel in highly contested environments, giving it an edge in modern air combat. Its exhaust system, reminiscent of the YF-23, is designed to hide the afterburner plume, and with 2D thrust vectoring capabilities, it could easily outmaneuver any enemy jet. Weaponry? The NGAD will keep its missiles and bombs tucked away in internal bays, enhancing its stealth profile. While this limits the size and number of weapons it can carry, there's no doubt new systems are being developed to maximize its payload capacity. As the U.S. prepares to dominate the skies with the NGAD, defense experts are already speculating on what the next leap, 7th generation fighters, might look like. The NGAD is more than just a jet. It's a glimpse into the future of warfare. And as new technologies emerge, the U.S. Air Force is ensuring it stays on the cutting edge, ready to maintain dominance in the skies. Thanks for watching. Click the link on your screen for more groundbreaking content.